Today we have an unknown mystery collection in a massive box. What's up guys, we're back with another unknown mystery collection. So this one was an interesting one. A guy hit me up and he's like, hey, do you wanna check out my collection? And I was like, sure. And then he just sent me a tracking number. I totally thought he meant pictures. So now we have the box here. So I guess we're gonna check it out. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this legendary duelist Rage of Raw. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite card from this opening. Hopefully there's something good because this box is huge. If it's not anything good, then we have a problem. So first, this is not everything. Half of it fell out, half of it's still in the binder, but you guys get the idea. Yeah, it's basically all the speed duel stuff. So gear free the sword master, not the iron knight. It's a different card. Command knight, vampire lord. What is this? We have a heavy metal raiders. If you've never played speed duel, this is a skill card. So basically it's like dual links. You flip this up. I have played speed duel because I played in the side events. I won one match. So that was pretty fun. Dust tornado, rice, Sinchi. We got another skill card. Skill cards are really cool because they really change up what decks you can use. And they make some decks that suck playable. So it's pretty fun. Leviathan Dragon Daedalus. Uh, Cash of the Day. Okay, Catch of the Day. Goblin Zombie. We've got another Mythic Depths. Dekoichi is a very good card. Okay, so a lot of stuff like that. I mean, just a bunch of speed duel stuff in that first one. And because binders are so difficult to go through, we're just going to do that. All right, we found one that will be easy to record. Nice and small. Oh, we got some old school. This is nice. Okay, so we got some reprints. Very nice. Let's see what else we got. We got a Cyberdark Horn. We've got Cards of Consonance, I think is worth a couple of bucks. Red Eyes Darkness Metal just got a reprint, so it might not be very good. Buster Blader is cool. We got the Red Eyes Black Dragon, of course. And then the, oh, the Quilla. Anything else really cool? Reaper on the Nightmare. The Graceful Charity First Edition. So it's revealing light. Very nice. Let's see. Maybe this is the best angle because the light, it's so hard to show binders, guys. This is the ultimate struggle I have. We have uh, there because the ring light is not very good for this. The Red Eyes Flare Metal. Cool. I always like that one. Ghost Rare is my favorite. The God Card Set. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, oh, that is actually a money card. I don't, it doesn't have a lot of prints. And uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, of course, totally awesome. That secret rare looks great. It looks awesome. Here's our old Dark Magician logo that we had for the channel until like 45,000 subs. I finally changed it. Um, that was cool. Uh, the secret rare, whoa, yeah. Legendary Collection Yugi's World, the one we didn't know about that we pulled the other day. If you missed that, go check it out. Uh, okay, sick, nice. Another SDY Dark Magician. We got some more Blue Eyes White Dragons, plus Ultimate More God cards, very cool. There's a Phoenix, I love that guy. Um, very nice card. You got a Thunder Dragon Fusion. So, some more Thunder Dragon stuff, which are, you know, pretty much banned at this point. Ooh, World Legacy Succession. Droll and Lockbird, that's a big card. Okay, that's probably the most expensive card we've found yet. Hey, Trunade. Um, Luster Dragon Common, that's odd to be in there. Heavy Metaphors Electromite used to be worth something. Oh, look at this. Look at this card. Is that the sleeve? No, it's a Hobby League Graceful Charity. Okay. That's a pretty sick card for like goat and stuff like that. Cause graceful charity doesn't have a ton of high rarity. I think it has a secret rare in Yugi's world, but this is like the other option. So that is pretty amazing. That's a good one. I'm going to pull that one out for sure. Okay. Exco talker, psychic wielders, not bad. Macro cosmos, nightmare goblin. That's the one that got banned. I think dark magician girl. Okay. Nice card. That's the, uh, special edition version. So it's not crazy, but it's still pretty valuable. Um, we got monster reborns. You got another graceful charity, the utopia Ray. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Is that first? No, it's unlimited. Yeah, it's a reprint. Okay. We got the Solda. We got Solemn Judgment. We got Black Skull Dragons. Even this small one's hard to show. It's crazy. Oh, and then we got a Summon Skull, Thunder Dragon, and Thousand Dragon. So very nice card right there. That's an uh, <laughs> Euro version. Okay. We've got uh, Chaos Dragons. We got Solid Dragon, Bingo Machine Go. Those are nice cards. Oh, this is all Blue Eyes stuff. So we got Blue Eyes support in here. It appears to be blue eye cyber dragon stuff like that we got a cyber low fusion those used to be crazy money now they're like one dollar or less um more cyber dragon stuff here we go let's just go like this yeah very nice we got some black wing stuff very nice more black wings we got ooh, galaxy eyes photon we got photon stuff in here very cool galaxy knight uh abyss actor i'm looking for anything like you know because these are this is just a bunch of support stuff which is cool but Oh, Harby's Featherstorm. This is a good card. That's pretty expensive, I think. Um, Harby Oracle. More Harpies. Ugh, gross. We don't want to. We don't want to see them after Duel Links. Uh, we got the Merciful Machine. All right, the Cyber Angels classic. Okay, so these are not the uh, Speed Duel versions, though. That's the ones that you can actually play now. Um, cool stuff there. Urgent Schedule. I might have. No, I think I ended up finding the ones I needed. 
and then heavy rail knot. So the rail cars and stuff like that, those are fun. Okay, Luna Light Fusion and Luna Lights. All right, very nice, cool stuff. At least they stayed in the binder that time. That is nice. All right. On to the next one. These actually stayed in there, which is good. So we got Dark Cavalry, Signal Warrior. So we're going to be going pretty quickly through this stuff. I think it's, for the most part, it looks like ultra rare stuff from Dupo. Is this all Dupo stuff? Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, so far, I think it is. We've got all this. Very shiny. So I'm trying to avoid that. Um, Goki Jet Ogre. We've got more stuff like that. Still got... Dupo stuff. All right, so it looks like we just got a bunch of Dupo stuff. So what was good in Dupo? So I, Cyber Dragon, I remember, is a good one. Toon Dark Magician Girl. I don't think that was actually worth much, but very cool. Could be worth something now. Quintet Magician. Wing Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode is not bad. Let's see if we can get a better angle on that one. We've got Dark Magical Circle is nice. I don't remember really what we were looking for in this set, to be honest. There was so much stuff. Star Seraph. We got the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. We've got the Galaxy Soldier. Preta Plant. We got Preta Plant. Uh, Crystal Wing. We got, okay, Link Rebo is not bad. I don't remember this set very well. Ghost Ogres, that's nice. Okay, I actually thought I didn't have any of these for the YCS, so I didn't play them. It turns out I had a play set like a dummy, so I just didn't play <laughs> So that was not spark ghost bell okay so ghost ogre and ghost bell those are nice so it looks like the ghost girls were in there for the most part so those are definitely big at the, especially at the time trishla i think was something at the time when i was opening it i don't know about now i don't think anybody's playing necros el shadal fusion a lot of cool stuff in here so a lot of stuff if you're trying to build some decks or if i'm trying to build some decks i'm good to go at this point after this thing there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, so next binder. All right, next binder. There has been a ton of stuff so far. Mystical Space Typhoon Seeker Rare. That's a cool start. Burst Dragon. We got a Grand Neos. Eda Tin is actually worth money, I think, because of uh, Drytrons, I believe. Oh, Return of the Dragon Lords. Dad. Okay, we're getting to some cool stuff in here. Redox. Um, Mystic Tomato is nice. I like that card. Twin Twister Secret Rare. Anything else? I mean, th I mean, there's a lot of other cool stuff. Oh, this one. Legendary Magician of Dark. I love that card. Very cool. Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. That's a Platinum Secret Rare. Those are always really interesting. The Platinum Secrets. I'll see if I can show you guys this. Let me know. <laughs> what do you guys, how do you guys feel about this vlog style? Because this is like the only way I can really do this without setting up a completely different camera. I feel like it, it'll be okay, but but we'll see. I don't know if you guys will like it or not. The, the lighting is also a, a challenge with these binders because they're very shiny. Okay, anything in there? Oh, Haman. Okay, that's from the tent. No, that's SOI, Unlimited. Okay, that's pretty sick. Very nice, very nice. Destruction Dragon. Titanial, there's an Edison card that's used in some, some of the plant things with the uh, Lone Fire and everything. That's a good card. Heavy Infantry. We got Magician's Navigation. You'd love to see that. Anything else? Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Dragon. You'd love to see him, even though uh, I don't know if it's actually worth anything. It's just the name is really funny. Um, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Dark Magician Girl. Blue Eyes White Dragons from Duel's Pack Kaiba I actually have a little bit of value, so that's not bad. Okay, we're looking. The spider has been pretty nice, I would say. So far, we have not found a card that's like actually worth a lot of money, though. So it's going to be interesting to try and price this thing because this is going to be a ton of work to actually like sell a lot of this stuff. So that makes it a little bit harder to buy at an expensive price because it's like, well, you know, if you're spending so much time, it's very, you know, time consuming. Uh, the Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere mode. Again, that's the super rare version. We've got a Solemn Strike Seeker rare. That's really nice. Modern um, Mega Pack. Cool. Anything else? We've got the Silent Swordsman. We've got the Gear Golem. Gaia the Dragon Champion. Man, this is this is just a lot of cards. Like, this is a big collection. Lot and lot of cards. All right. All right. So that's the end of that one. That was actually probably the best binder so far, I would say. All right. Now we got a fancy binder. Uh, Wait, maybe I didn't unzip it all the way. All right, Fancy Binder. This doesn't stay open very well. It seems very new. Uh, what is this? Are these Rush Duel? <laughs> oh, no, I got to hold it open. This is making it even harder. Okay. Oh, it's time, baby. The Pequeno Moth. The best card in the set. Okay, so that makes it, makes it all worth it. Definitely got to buy it now. All right, very cool. What is that card? Is that a Karibo with a, that's a bomb? That guy is, a, that's an interesting looking Karibo. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Very, very weird. Um, on to the next stuff. It looks like this is all Rush Duel, I believe. Those are hollows up there. Whoa. Check out that artwork. Check out that artwork on those. Whoa. That is sick. All right. That is unbelievable. All right. On to the next one. Let's go here. I don't really know what I'm looking at on a lot of these cards, so we're just going to be going quickly through these. I know that's an alternate artwork for something in the originals. I can't remember what it is, though. Oh, no. It's closing on me. It's closing on me. No, stop it. Ah! All right, we did it. Okay, these are all hollows, though. 
Nice. Okay, so I don't really know much about that binder, but it's there. It's a binder. Okay, we're still going. We got more binders. What else could possibly be in here? Hopefully some more epic stuff. Oh, some old school stuff like Invader of Darkness. We got a blue eye Spirit Dragon, Volcanic Doomfire. We've got Super Team Force Buddy Unite. Uh, Super Team Buddy Force Unite. There we go. <laughs> Cyber Shark First Edition. Here's Su Secret Rare. Okay, that's original. Okay, Montage. That, okay, we're getting some nice stuff here. The Psychic Wielder. Very cool. The Omni Dragon Brotar. I remember that card. Um, what else? Plunder Patrols, Grave Diggers, Trap Hole, Pot of Riches. We got the Firewall, Friends. Anything else? Red Eyes White. I mean, those are all cool stuff. Blue Eyes White Dragons. We've got a complete Exodia set. What that? That's from Yugi's World? Oh, that's pretty cool. A Yugi's World set. I don't wonder what that's worth. A couple of the Dark Paladins from DMG. Oh, look, a Ghost Rare! First edition red eyes. Okay, we're gonna inspect that one. One second. We gotta check out the ghost rare. Let's see what condition it's in. First of all, let's appreciate the foiling. Beautiful, beautiful ghost rare. We we finally hit a ghost rare. I mean, <laughs> hit out of a collection, but guy's actually not in bad condition from the from the foil. Top edge has some uh, scuffing on it. Maybe. A, oh yeah. I mean, it's got it's got a little indent right there up top, so it's definitely not gonna be perfect condition. Oh yeah, it's messed up down there. But the foiling looks pretty good though. For how beat up the rest of the card is. Okay, there's a little bit of a dent there. I mean, it's like. Oh, man. I think it's, like, kind of crinkled right there. So, mod play, heavy play, but pretty for those for those conditions. So, that's still really cool. Nice to see a ghost rare in here. You know we love ghost rares. All right. So, the rest of it, we have Pot of Desire Secret Rares. We have L... Or, not L-O-B. S-D-Y Dark Magicians. And those are Spanish, I believe. Are those Spanish? No, Portuguese. So, these are... Okay, they might all be Portuguese. Nice. I can't really see that far away. I'm so far away because I'm trying to make sure you guys can see these. Ulties. A full two pages of ulties. That's pretty sick. More ulties with a lightning vortex. Oh, that's that's dope. And then a grand mark. That's also dope. Uh, deck devastation is pretty expensive too, I think. More ulties. All right. Shekinaga got an ulti. Is that in Duelist Alliance? I didn't know that. No, that's in uh, New Challengers. Okay. Thunder and Dragon. Pot of Greed, Ring of Destruction. Those are really nice. Oh, look at this. Okay, we got to check this out. All right, so how this started, I was not expecting there to be like cards like this at the end. <laughs> so this is a very extensive collection in different directions. So this one is not in fantastic condition, but check out an Ultimate Rare First Edition Phoenix. That is amazing. Yeah, definitely like I would put it in heavy play if I was selling it, but beautiful, beautiful card. I like that. That is so awesome. Still reminds me of when I had one lost in the mail. Yeah, except it was even, it was near mint supposedly. So that was great. Okay. So that looks like the end of this binder. That was a really good binder. So we really stepped it up right there to old school too, including some of that stuff though. So that was fun. All right, let's go. We've got, oh, so we've got a <laughs> diviner of the Herald. Okay. That's a pretty good card. A uh, lunar eclipse. I remember pulling those guys, the move beta. I have pulled so many of these out of Leov. Very nice. Looks like he opened a lot of Leov. Very good stuff. Um, we got... Okay, we're into... Hey, look! We're giving away one of these uh, Legendary Duelist boxes, so that's cool. Silver's Cry, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So he's got, he's got a ton of Blue Eyes stuff, which is cool. I like the Solid Dragon. I like the DD Crows. Ghost Bell. Have a few of those. The... I don't even remember that card. Okay. Chaos Creator, Toon Bookmark. Are we going to have some some uh, Toon Chaos stuff? Pot of Extravagance. That's a very good card. Okay. Yeah, more awesome stuff in here. We got the... Uh, this card's really good, I think, too. I've played against it a few times. That card's pretty good. We got the, the Gold Golden Castle, the infamous Golden Castle. Oh, the goat! Alistair the Invoker is in here with one magical meltdown. You love to see that. That's an amazing card. And then that's a smaller binder, but that was definitely quality stuff for the most part. All right, Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge. Is is that what this is? Is it the whole set? Because this thing is jam-packed. What was good in this set? All right, I attempted to fix it, but I don't know if... Okay, we can turn the pages. That's good. So Relentless Re Revenge. Relentless Revenge. It's so hard to say. I don't know why. Keep going on there. So these pages are the ones that are kind of wacky. So let's gonna go through this kind of quick because it's kind of hard to see this stuff. We've got uh, we got the wear, wear the wear, the white or a whale. I can't speak. Man, these are just really not turning very well. What was the good cards in this set? I don't remember. I don't. I don't think I really opened very much of it. Wait. Double evolution pill secret rare. That's nice for the Dino decks. All right, that's pretty good. Time Lord stuff, Light Sworn stuff. What a weird set. I guess uh, Battles of the Legend. It was Light's Revenge, though. You would think that would be in there, but it's not. Okay, Minerva. That was a good card for Light Sworns, which also wasn't that in Light. No, it wasn't Light's Revenge. Okay, so it's a mixture of those. Very nice. Vanity's Fiend. Come on, baby. We've got Spell Books. We've got more stuff. Vision Hero Adoration. Sage with Eyes of Blue. Okay, that's actually a money card. It's like 10 bucks each, I think. Secret rare versions. Number 11, Big Eye. All right. Cyframe Lord Omega is also pretty good. 
Gaia. We got Bujente Sukiyomi. We've got Phantom Knights of Break Sword. Okay, yeah, there's some good cards. Artifact Sanctum. All right, so a lot of cards that probably were big money and then they got reprinted a bunch after that. And now they're like only a few bucks. I bet that's what happened. So this was probably a great reprint of like Artifact Sanctum and stuff like that. We're uh, Orgoth the Relentless. I know is still worth a couple bucks. We've got the Pumpkin. We got Cinderella over there or whatever her name is. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get roasted for not knowing that. Uh, I can't remember anymore. Iron Cage. Okay, got the larva. We've got okay, so I don't recognize a lot of these cards. I don't know if they're really any good. The, the time lords, okay, I recognize those from trolls and trolling and uh, master duel, rip master duel with that great new band list. What else are we gonna get? Hibernation, we got the cocky, the tenma, boral guard. Okay, boral guards in here, flash charge, torrential. That's a good card, monster reborn, secret rare. Okay, cyber dragons. All good throwback cards. The Neospatians. Okay, why are the Neospatians in there? That's kind of weird, I guess. Okay, TG. Phantom Knights of Fogblade Secrets. I like didn't even know those had a secret, so that's actually pretty dope. Yeah, I know the Ultras are worth a lot. They've been reprinted in Ghosts of the Past and stuff like that. All right, Unizombie. Eater of Millions. Dark Lord Ichthel. We've got, oh, Honest Neo Secret Rare. Is that his first print or was it a reprint? I can't remember. I can't remember where it was. Oh! I need this card. I needed this card. I think I finally got one eventually, but I needed that card for one of my decks for a while. Preparation of rights. That's a good card. All right. All right. This is, this is like tiring. My arms are like, one's holding this up. One is like attempting to grab these. Oh, Solemn Strike and Solemn Judgment in here. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Okay, that set's actually pretty solid all around. All right, so uh, this is what was below all the binders. Just a ton of cards just laying like this. So hopefully nothing got like damaged or anything, but it feels like it might have. All right, Battles of Legend, Light's Revenge, or Heroes Revenge. I think this is the last binder, I think. Do we have the Blackluster Soldier in here? That'd be pretty sick because I've not actually owned one of those in the Secret Rare version. Oh no, these just completely fell out. Oh, Increase! This is getting a reprint, I think, in Ghost from the Past 2, maybe? Ferris! That probably got hit a lot by the uh, the reprint, but that's still pretty sick. Okay, yeah, these are these are not even in the binder. They're just like sitting in there. Okay, all right, let's just go through these as carefully as we can. This is going to be a fun time going through these. <laughs> like, it will be fun, but also like take forever. Okay, uh, real wasp. We got uh, wh where's the blackluster soldier? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that BLS soldier of what is it? Soldier of chaos or something? I can't remember because they all say like blackluster soldier something something something. I think it's Black as a Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. It's the repetitive one where it says Soldier twice in a row. Stardust Mirage, the Foolish Burial. First decent card I've seen besides the Ferris and stuff. Stratos, good. Okay, so the hero stuff is nice. There's a Pank Secret Rare. There's a... Oh, Absolute Zero. That's the Ultra Rare copy. Dino Wrestler Pangratops is dope. That's awesome Secret Rare. Cyberstein Secret Rare. That's where this comes from. Okay. Here's Revenge. Here's the Shadal stuff. Ooh, that's pretty fun. Okay. The Herald of the Arc Light. Yeah, this is actually sick. The Ray. The Maneuver. We got the Crawler in here. We got Skull. Foster Warrior Skull Knight. Wait, this is Armageddon. No, they didn't have a BLS. That's so sad. Skull Gear. Uh, White Bear. We've got Numeron Wall. Numerons. More Numerons. I've seen all these cards a million times because we opened like 30 something boxes of this which now is not even that much compared to what we normally do <laughs> but uh there was a lot at the time i mean it's still a lot when you think about it 30 something boxes so we've seen every card multiple times besides uh 10k and utopia which we saw once dark armed we got alias yeah my my left tricep is going to be freaking huge after that so that's all i'm saying guys i have i'm getting a workout black wings okay black wings very cool we got utopia the lightning more artifact sanctum they, they reprinted it twice in uh the battles of legend stuff before they changed it to brothers now it's invoke stuff. Okay, cool. The Chimera Tech. The uh, Secure Garden is a card that I need pretty often. Okay, Sunlight Wolf. Cross Sheep. And, okay, and then there's a couple of cards trapped back here. What are they? They are numerons okay and then the intruder alarm all right it's time to go through all these extra cards that fell out and there's more there's sealed product i think in here so we're gonna figure out what this is so let's see if anything crazy fell out there's a junk garden huh? all right all right so we have this is gonna be fun to go through all right uh afterglow invoked kaliga blackwing so it looks like more of the stuff we have seen uh we've got the neospatial marine dolphin we got, ooh, a Prince Illusion Magician is a good card. We'll take that one out. Very nice. And uh, Chaos Space, also pretty good. There's three of those. They all fell out somehow. We have Salamangra Xel, another Apprentice Illusion. That's good. Kwaki Miro Drago. This is crazy. These were just abs <laughs> absolutely everywhere. Okay, Naturia. All right. Okay. All right, here's the other ones that fell out. Wow, that was... They were all uh, mixed up. I had to put them 
you know, straight and all that stuff. But like, unlike the last few, I, I just couldn't do that again. There was too many. Demoth Man, just so many cards. Like, these are all the cards that fell out of the binders. So, like, these were in addition to the binders. There's more coming even. Like, this is insane. So many cards. Summon Limit. Is that a hollow? No, it's just regular original common. What is this from? Astral Pack. Okay, that's cool. I don't even remember that card. The Herald... Okay, red reboots. Okay, we made it through those, so... Then we have this tin. I don't know what's in here. More cards. Okay, let's see what they are. Not gonna lie, I am getting pooped from this. Like, I'm actually tired because we've been going through this. Like, the, the, the video is probably way shorter than what it is on, like, actual life. We're at 38 minutes in terms of recording right now. So you guys are probably, hopefully, a lot less than that because, obviously, uh, we can skip to the parts where I'm just shifting through stuff. Okay, there we go. A bunch of empty sleeves. It's King of the Skull Servants. <laughs> what is going on with these sleeves? Okay, just random sleeves. All right. Uh, okay, more random sleeves. Is there cards in here? Yeah, there we go. There's some cards. Summon Sorceress. Why are these in that? I don't understand. Okay, Dark Fluid. Uh, okay. Trinity. The Vampire Vamp. Yeah, just a bunch of random sleeves in here. I don't understand that. Then we have more Hieratics. Uh, this looks like... So it looks like this was just like some random stuff he threw in there. It didn't really have like a... It wasn't like a theme or anything. Then we have an opened pack of Legendary Collection 4 Joey's World. Let's see what we got. I don't know if he pull, already pulled out the good stuff or what. Oh, he didn't. Raigeki's in there. That's pretty sick. Okay. Raigeki is one of the coolest cards in there. Teuton Mask. Wait, this feels like more cards. Maybe not. Uh, ooh, Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. That's pretty sick. All right. And we also have two Mega Tins. We will not be opening these in this video because it's already very long. But at some point, we'll probably open these. Then we have a... Not massive box. A box that is taped, though. So it's like... This is does not want to be opened, I guess. So this one... Maybe, I don't know what could be in here. What could be in here? All right, so first of all, there was a Red Blossom and then a couple of decks. Which decks are these? SDRE, the Atlantean Dragon? What is that? I don't even know what that deck is. All right, then our packs are some random packs like Ancient Guardians, Genesis Impact, Rage of Raw, Chaos Impact, Phantom Rage, the 2021 Mega Tents, Rise of the Duelist. That's pretty sick. We got Chaos Impact. We got Genesis Impact, Legendary Duelist, Rage of Raw, and Ancient Guardians. Okay. So a couple of epic packs in there. We've got more Rage of Raw, which we gave away in this, which is pretty funny. Genesis Impact. We've got, oh my goodness, they're going everywhere. And look, there's more. There's more of these. Some more promos. Then we got Chaos Impact Blazing Vortex. We got the Dragons of Legend. The Shining Darkness. Nice. Generation Force. Tactical Evolution. Ancient Guardians. Chaos Impact. Genesis Impact. Genesis Impact. A couple more cards that somehow made their way in there. And then another 2021 Megaton. Pack. And then the last stack from the box was more Ancient Guardians, Ancient Prophecy, Pharaoh's Servant. So there's some cool stuff in here. Rage of Raw, Monster League, Monster League, Generation Force, Tactical Evolution, Pharaoh's Servant, the Photon Shockwave First Edition, Ancient Guardians, Legendary Duelist, Rage of Raw, Genesis Impact, Chaos Impact, uh, Phantom Rage, uh, more of that. Oh, we got a nice Soul Fusion. That's cool. We got a Chaos Impact, and then we got... Legendary Duelist, Genesis Impact, Ancient Guardians. All right, very cool packs. Then we have another box. In here, there's a few blister packs, it looks like, which are Burst of Destiny. So it looks like they're all Burst of Destiny. That's a nice set to have. And then also a ton of Dark Magician Girl, the Dragonite sleeves. I think they're all dark. No, they're different ones. So a bunch of different sleeves. So let's go through these, I guess. Let's see if there's a lot of variety. There's the Mascarena. Mask okay, so it's gonna be Masquerade Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. So nice stuff. I mean, those are really quality sleeves for the most part, since at least about how I've experienced them. And the final box inside of the box has more packs, I believe. Let's see what they are. Ooh. A deck box. Very cool. Another deck box. Very nice. Then it looks like we have a lot more blisters of Synchro Storm and Burst of Destiny. Or so here's everything. I mean, there's a bunch of them. I'm the, the <laughs> my space is just covered in stuff right now, so I can't really show you guys very well. But a bunch more blisters. This was a massive collection. This is gonna be interesting to talk about, but uh this was pretty fun to open up. It was definitely difficult. So that if I was seemed like I was like, oh, you know, it's because uh, it was trying to figure out the logistics and stuff like that. But hope you guys enjoyed this long video because it's definitely going to be long even after cutting out everything we're at like 45 minutes or something so hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel shout out to ccg trust cards don't Show, show tomato juice stanley mike nance movie gecko dax jane moose jr barding and show jt cho and david fj thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace